What is up Smash players? In today's video, we're going to talk about the flow state. By now, you've all heard about it. If not, the colloquial term is being in the zone. When you're in flow, everything feels effortless and time ceases to exist. You spend hours without even realizing. When you're not in flow, you feel tired, distracted, or all the games you play feel more like work than ease. Let's explore the article by Arvid Bloom and Paula Skutnik Henley titled Flow Experiences Among Musicians. The article was brief, but to the point. So, why flow? Everyone should desire to enter a flow state when practicing or performing a skill. For starters, it's the most enjoyable way to experience any art form. But the real advantage comes from the fact that your brain is at peak performance. When you're playing in the zone, your movement becomes seamless, your reads are as if they're predicting the future, and your adaptation just can't be kept up with. And because of this, your brain firing neurons so rapidly, you are learning from your mistakes like a robot. Like a computer program adapting its AI constantly. That is why we want to enter flow. To play at your peak and to learn at your fastest rate. And it doesn't hurt that the state is very enjoyable as well. Bender, what is it? Oh, what an awful dream. Ones and zeros everywhere. And I thought I saw two. It was just a dream, Bender. There's no such thing as two. So... How do we enter flow? According to the article, the elements of flow are as follows. The task requires above average concentration. The activity stands out from daily life. Challenge and skill levels are relatively matched. The task is freely chosen. The task is totally absorbing. Goals are clear. Means and methods are clear for reaching goals. The experience provides immediate feedback. In terms of Smash, we check off the majority of these boxes right off the bat. The game requires concentration in itself. It stands out from daily life. It would be unusual if someone forced you to play Smash, the task is totally absorbing, the goal is to beat your opponent, and the experience provides immediate feedback. So what's left for us to focus on is finding appropriate challenge, and also ensuring we know the means and methods for our goals. When it comes to knowing the means and methods for beating our opponents, that's knowing all your character's tools, but also having a game plan, otherwise you can easily become overwhelmed. For example, as Zero Suit Samus, my game plan versus Luigi is to camp with Zare. Now, if he manages to get in, I ask myself how, and then I work from there. Maybe he's rolling in, so I need to start reading that with a retreating Nair. Or when I fight big characters as Zero Suit Samus, my main game plan is to find up airs. So when I can't find up airs, I ask myself why. Maybe I'm not hitting the combo starters or maybe I'm not catching the landings. The key to both of these examples is that once you have a clear means to achieving your goal, then you can effectively problem solve and enter flow from there. If you don't know your means to accomplish the win, you will get overwhelmed. It's the difference between your brain trying to solve a 1000 piece puzzle from scratch versus already having 500 pieces assembled together from the get go. And that brings us to the other half, the challenge factor. As you see from the flow channel, if you get too overwhelmed or too bored, you fall out of flow. So, how do we create challenge? In the past I've preached you can improve facing even worse players. This is absolutely true, because you create challenge for yourself. For example, you could choose to try to win with 3 stops, or just to focus on improving and mastering your combo game so it's finessed perfectly, or even to lab new plays you've been theorizing. However, facing better players is probably the easiest way to challenge yourself. Which is why Wi-Fi tournaments are probably the number one place Smash Ultimate Legends are born. So do everything in your power to find better players if you wish to challenge yourself very easily by attending tournaments online and offline. Just remember, if you fight better players and you don't believe in yourself, then you will feel overwhelmed and fall out of flow and not learn a thing. So believe in yourself, no matter who you face. There are more ways to challenge yourself though. I love to do win streaks on Elite Smash, for example. Lately, I've personally liked to learn other characters on Elite. This lets me enter a flow state when I get tired of my main, and learning other characters deeply teaches me so much more about the game that I most definitely would have never learned if I stuck to my original characters. It's also nice because when I finally do come back to my main again, it's like I'm relearning them, and I re-enter that flow state with ease. You can even do things like play Elite Smash without using certain moves, like jumping or shielding, or smash attacks or tilts. 
or trying to kill with every single one of your moves. As long as you genuinely don't care about the GSP loss, you'll enter the zone and you'll improve with it. I conclude by asking you, how do you like to challenge yourself? As always, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit that DK thumbs up, spin that subscribe button, have a swell evening, and I will see you next time. Hear it in your head, move into your mind.